Hey there YouTube, so first of all, I just want to start off by telling you I do not own MAC brushes and this is a must have makeup brush thing so I'm just going to be telling you the type of brush I have because you know I can't afford MAC yet but I am going to get some MAC sooner or later I hope to get a makeup collection one, MAC brush makeup collection one day so the first brush that I really really like is a fluffy blending brush and this brush is really good because it can blend out any ugly, harsh, or nasty lines on your eyes. It can make anything look good, and that's why I love it, because it's just wonderful. And you can get one in MAC. It's the 224, and um, it's just really good. It's a wonderful brush to get, and it would be a good investment. You know, if I had the money, I would totally get one from MAC. But this one works well, like very well, and I got it from IMATS this weekend, well, last weekend. Um... Next brush for eyes, we're just starting out with eyes, would be the flat shader brush. And I have one from Sony Kashuk that I'm like in love with. And it's just like really flat. You can get one from MAC that's 239. It's a little bit wider than this and shorter. This one's kind of long and skinny kind of. But it does apply good for my eye shape. It fits very well for my eye shape. This right there. So it fits very well for that. So um, the next brush for eyes is my angled eyeliner brush and I am absolutely in love with this brush. It, it it applies everything so precise. Like it just it you can hold it and just like line like that and like do all these swirls and stuff and it's fine. Like it's beautiful. So definitely need to pick that up. And then um last for eyes, uh I would really recommend to pick up an eyebrow brush and I just use this one that I also got from IMAPS and you can see the top is angled and it fits my eyebrow shape very well. Next is face and first is foundation. Um, foundation brushes are very controversial I have to say. People just fight over what is the best all the time. I can see this on YouTube all the time and I want to do a comparison video one day but um, I love the 187 brush or the dual fiber stippling brush but I always end up going back to the normal foundation brush, synthetic brush, bristles, and like oval shape. I always go back to this brush. So I'm going to put that on my brush. I also have another one like that. I'm going to put that as my brush, must have brushes, because I always go back to it. But I really do like the dual fiber stippling brush. I don't have my 187 dupe with me, but I do have the 188 one, which is a little smaller. But yeah, it's wonderful. And then, uh, you always need a fluffy powder brush. Powder brushes are very important because everyone wears powder. If you're into makeup, usually wear powder. That's like what you put on in the morning. You're used to powder. So definitely pick up a fluffy powder brush. This one's really big. Um, this one's great for picking up like a mineralized skin finish. But if you're doing like pseudo fix powder and you want a more full, not full, but um, a heavier coverage, you can just pick up a smaller one because it's a little tighter and it can just really get it on there. The fluffy one's great for just putting on a setting powder you know, over your foundation. And then, you will always need a blush brush, because most of the time you're wearing blush. You know, when you do your foundation, you want to brighten it up, because it does mat out your face. So, you know, you need a blush brush. This one I really like. I got it from iMads. It's great for just, you can put on your apples and then blend. So, it's beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful brush. Dome shape, you should always look for dome shape. And then, um, Last of all, you might want to pick up a concealer brush. I know a lot of people, for your makeup kit, you need a concealer brush because you do not want to be touching your fingers all over people's faces. And, like, I put my concealer on with a brush now, but I used to put it on with my fingers, and it works just the same. But for germs and stuff, for those reasons, just get a cheap little one like this. I got this from IMAX, and it applies very good. It's great for, like, covering up pimples or under eye area and that kind of stuff. So, um, I hope that this video will help you. I hope you'll take my advice, pick up some of these brushes, and I hope that you'll be able to find ones that work just like these ones, because I really like these ones. These get me through my everyday makeup and stuff, so sorry I'm outside. It just felt so good. I had to be out here, and I had to make a video for you guys. Okay, so have a wonderful day, and subscribe to my channel. Bye!